Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of AC Craftsmanship. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I was able to restore this beautiful dresser into this amazing dresser. If you want to see how it was done, stick around and watch the video. But before we get started, I want to show you some of the pictures of how the dresser used to look just before any work was performed. All right, well, let's get right into it. The first thing I did was remove the drawers from the dresser so that way I can actually clean them out and inspect if there was any major damage. Luckily for this one, there was no major damage and I was just able to work with the drawers as they were. Now for this part, since I had the drawers already out, I also removed the hardware. So after I removed the hardware, the next thing I did was to clean up the drawers. I used some mineral spirits, some water, and that just helped me out for the next step. Now for step number two, what I did was just apply a little bit of stripper and waited until about an hour for it to dry. You can tell that it's dry when it starts to look white on top of the furniture. Now after it had some time to dry, I used a plastic spatula to scrape off any of the residue that was left over. And the first time I did it, it didn't come out as perfect or as clean as I wanted to. So I just decided to use a little bit of elbow grease and start sanding. Now here are some of the pictures of how it looks before and after the sanding process. Now for the main body of the dresser, I also used some of the stripper to get rid of the top layers of finish and then sanded it down as well. So this is how it looks after sanding. Now for the edges of the top of the dresser, I would normally use steel wool to get rid of all the finish that's in there. But for this piece, I found it to my liking to just kind of leave it the way it is. Now after sanding and cleaning it after, the next step was to apply some stain. And as you can see, for this I'm using a, a foam brush and after I applied the stain, I just used a cloth to get rid of the excess stain because I did not want it to get too dark for this type of wood. And for this video, you're going to be seeing pictures of me working inside and outside. And that's just because the weather uh, was a little bit cloudy and raining so I did not want that to affect the final finish. Now here are some of the pictures of the before and after the stain. The one on the left or in the bottom portion of the video is with the stain on and the top part is without. Now for my next step I decided to just go with the hardware and start tackling that. I went outside and started to spray paint the legs of the dresser along with the handles of the dresser itself. And you may have noticed that there were some missing parts of the hardware. Because of that, I went to the hardware store and I just bought some uh, replacement ones. But to keep the color consistent, I decided to just spray paint all of it at once so that way there would not be any color differences. Now for my next step, I actually went back to staining because I didn't finish the whole dresser. So I just decided to tackle the sides, the top and the bottom of the dresser itself. Now after that had dried, I put back the drawers into the dresser just to see how it was going to look. And so far I'm pretty pleased with the way it looks. For my next step, even though I like the look, I decided to detail it a little bit more by adding a darker mahogany stain to the already dark wood that I have going on here. After that, it was pretty much done and I just decided to 
move on to the next step. Now for this, I used multiple applications because I wanted to make sure that the furniture was gonna last a pretty good amount of time. Unfortunately, I did not take many pictures or videos of this part, but I did coat the entire dresser, the drawers, the sides, and also the hardware as well. Now, after the polyurethane had finished drying, I decided to just install the hardware. Now, these are the knobs that I was missing. I was missing about 10, and I was able to find a pack of 10 for a pretty good price. All right, guys, so here are some of the after pictures after the work was done on the dresser. Overall, with this project, I was pretty pleased. I was really happy with the way that it came out. The protective finish gives it that really glossy look to it and that just looks amazing to me i really think that this piece looks really good with that two colors in it and the edges just kind of stand out a little bit more so i was very happy with that and i think i made a good decision by just leaving it the way it is all right guys thank you for watching this video of ac craftsmanship and if you liked it give it a like and if you have something to say leave your comment and i'll try my best to respond or answer any questions that you guys might have. And if you like this type of videos, just subscribe because I'm gonna be making a lot more of them.